Hello everyone. So today I was looking at a question on the community and this question is actually about uh, copying the value from a numerical number based uh, text field to a story point field. So a very simple requirement but uh, uh, this is something that can be also easily done using of course automation rules and uh, for this example what i will do i'll probably open one of the issue where i have both number field and uh, story point so basically if you look at this particular issue here we have here uh, <clears throat> this number field called 10 and we also have uh, the story point which is also 10 now <clears throat> there are talking about use case talking about why you want to do it so Imagine that you are probably planning for maybe the, maybe the next six months and uh, maybe you want to plan at different levels like maybe you have stories and initiatives and uh, maybe epics and features and subtasks and in the beginning maybe you just want to keep track of uh, a high level estimate and then you may want to use uh, the original estimate field but let us say uh, you have uh, this requirement where you want this particular number field to be copied to the story point field or basically any other field will will this for, for this example i'll take a look at story point i'll copy the number field from this particular field to story point using automation automation rule but if you have a similar requirement for doing any weird use case uh, it it is of course possible now first i will show you how this works so if i probably just update here maybe uh, 15 why not so if we do 15 here it will of course take some time the rule is right now hopefully running in the background and uh, sometimes there is a message on the same issue screen here that you know the issue has been updated but not always and you have to refresh the issue screen here so that you can see the number okay so i don't really see the number uh, updated updating the uh, story point so maybe i'll just update one more time or oh, maybe the rule is not um, I, oh i know the problem so the rule is actually not <laughs> active so let me first uh, this is annoying right when you're working with jira issue jira software issue or jira software screen you don't have easy way to go to your admin features maybe there is maybe i don't know it so let us click on uh, automation and uh, what i will do is i will select here the rule which is uh, something that i just worked on it's a simple rule nothing complicated so copy number field this one so this is definitely not enabled let me enable it and let us do it again one more time so let us change it to maybe 16 okay and wait for it hopefully hopefully it will do some magic I'll probably wait for the pop-up. I don't know how this pop-up works. Uh, I mean, I need some feedback if my rule has run. But anyways, I'll just refresh. So as you can see, the number is now 16. So the story points basically. So it worked. So if you go to the rule, it's a simple rule, by the way. I mean... I'm just showing you because there was a question and uh, uh, for some reason I never really, I mean, I've done this before, but I don't really have it in my list. So I'm just making this video so that I can also add this to my list of videos, how to copy, how to update story points from a number field. But I guess uh, it is good to have, you know, this repository of different rules, right? So the rule is basically starting with the rule scope. Scope is single project, which I prefer. Uh, because I'm, I'm 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 on the standard plan and I don't really have unlimited ex executions. So single project, and the rule will uh, run when uh, the trigger is issue updated, and and, and there is a condition uh, that only do it when uh, the issue or the number field is uh, not equal to zero, and uh, then simply edit the story point field. That is it. It's a simple rule, right? And it works really well and uh, and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye